Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, actually, since I last posted a video. That was like around Christmas time. Um, I actually had to just take a break for a while and just get my mental health together and also try to get myself motivated to do art again because I really was not motivated for like the longest time. The only things that I did on my channel was just post, I think, just two YouTube shorts and I also posted two videos on my TikTok account just so I can at least have something to post. But anyways, on to this video. As you saw from the title of the video, I am going to be finishing an unfinished drawing that I had started in June of last year, I think. And so yeah, I haven't touched the drawing since then. I mean, of course, up until now. I would literally come across it every single time I would go on Procreate just sitting there. I literally must have forgotten all about this drawing. I mean, for me to have not touched this drawing since June of last year, yeah, I definitely forgot all about this drawing. When I saw it again, I thought that it would actually be a cool idea to finish it, you know, because I know that my style have changed a little bit since then. So I made sure to take some screenshots of, you know, before and after, you know, how my line art changed, just how my style changed. And right here, I'm just adjusting the flower headband because it looked like I just placed the flower headband there. Like there was no dimension or, you know, overlapping. A little bit of the hair is supposed to be overlapping it. So I had to fix that. It just didn't look right at first. I don't know what I was thinking back in June of last year. I don't know what my mind was thinking when I saw that. And then definitely right here for the eyes. I want to make the eyes a little bit more sketchy like. I didn't want it to be too solid. That's what something that I noticed that I'm starting to do now. Because I just think it just looks much better than just making straight solid lines for the eyes. I feel like I have more control just making just little streaks. I actually have done this for the first time on my drawing, on my uh, on one of the Draw the Senior Styles that I have done back in January. I'll post a picture up here and you can see that I have done the same eye sketchiness that I have going on here. And I just think it just looks way better than just drawing solid lines like that I had did before. I just love how it looks. And I definitely have to say, it definitely transformed this drawing. And so yes, later on in a little bit, I had also changed the eyebrows to match the eyes because I also didn't like how solid the eyebrows were. I just wanted overall just to give the face a little bit more softness instead of it looking so bold, you know? And so yes, for the rest of this line art, all I did was just make the line art a little bit more thin instead of the lines being so thick and I really must say I really love how I did the eyelashes here <laughs> okay so now I'm just moving on to the coloring I'm going to quickly show a comparison picture of the before and the after, and here they are. And you can totally tell there's a difference between the two. And I love the new one so much better. And when I am done coloring the solid base, I will show a color comparison picture. I had never got far with shading or any other details with the old, old version of the drawing. So I only have just solid base, so I will show that comparison later.
Okay, so now that I'm just about done finishing the base colors, I'm gonna go on ahead and show the comparison pictures. And right away, you can totally see the color difference uh, with this new one. I kind of went for more muted tones and the other one, it was very like neon bright. I did not like that. I don't know what I was thinking with this new one. I really tried to match the grayness of the background. That way the colors can be more cohesive. And on Procreate, I found another brush to use for shading and stuff um uh, the brush is called flat brush that's what the brush is called and i just love the way that i can just get like a variety of shades with it um because i kind of sometimes struggled with just only using a solid brush but with this one i can make a variety of tones and shades so that's why i started using this brush and i'm loving it um, before this brush, I would usually use the airbrush to kind of shade some areas, especially the face. And then I would come in with just a solid brush and just do some um, darker shadings and stuff. But I would have to say that this is definitely a better effect, in my opinion. I do still use the airbrush to darken some areas so that way when I actually start doing like details or you know other shading um it can just be easier to work with and you can totally see that with me coming in with a flat brush it just already gives me just the base to just work with so yeah
down like you don't want it to But if you let us in, open up And just be honest and start to trust We have your hand no matter what Even when life gets really tough It's not a game that we are playing Just reflect and stop the shaming No one wants this, especially you If you don't think we care, then you're the fool Then you're the fool Alright, so finally I'm getting to the background and I wasn't trying to really worry about the background being too, too perfect because I'm going to end up blurring it anyways. And I really tried to use a lot of textured brushes because it really just adds something to the piece, even though it's going to be blurred, but I really feel like it just made the piece better. And as you see here, I'm finally adding the lighting. I really was enjoying this part. I'm still an amateur at this, you know. Because I don't really do hard lights in my drawings. So this was pretty much a first, I guess. Um, except I think for the Coraline drawing. Well, I don't know. That one really wasn't a hard, hard light, I would say. And I also really loved giving it that glow effect. All I did was duplicate it. And I set it to add. And I used the Gaussian Blur. And then I... Uh, tone the opacity down a little bit but it really gave that nice soft glow and I I was like I really love how it came out and I also had did the same thing to the background as well to get that glow effect
for the drawing, I decided to darken the picture a little bit, you know, to add value to the drawing so the highlights can show better. And the effect came out really, really nicely. And the drawing is pretty much finished. Um, I really love the way that this drawing came out. I'm so glad I took a risk with the lighting and it really worked out overall. I'm glad that I decided to finish this drawing. So if you enjoyed this video, go on ahead and subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and give this video a like. Until next time, bye everyone.